The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls to Casey and Wake. Welcome back, guys. Checking with Casey. <clears throat> Are we done? Okay, welcome back, guys, for a playthrough of Alan Wake 2. What she said. Um, I'm trying to think. We did not get the bolt cutters. There's still, still some stuff at the lighthouse that we didn't do. I don't know if there's anything else around the air. Those are, those are the two main points of interest for me right now. Okay, so this has been demolished, and we can't get back down there. I hope I didn't miss a lot of ammo. There was a lot of ammo down there that I grabbed. I don't expect to see any enemies for a little while. That would be strange. Considering we just put everyone down here. Yeah. Thornton and Mulligan down. Plus the entire staff of Coffee World. I just don't expect there to be any threats here. I am going to save it, though, and then I'm going to turn around because there's a shorter way to get back to Bright Falls. Why does it do this every time when I select it? There we go. It's usually two or three times before it'll actually take my save selection. Come on, Casey. No answer. David. This is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Her husband. God, I found Why her. Isn't David answering? Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has the horror story already gotten her? Yeah. We should know. Don't forget to use the janitor's bucket in the janitor's break room. Talking between characters, Alan Saga's stories can be played in whatever order you choose. That's right. But I want to see this through, like, what she's dealing with first. The flooding's lowered. I should look around, see where the water was hiding. Interesting that she said that. Okay, let's double back. But in what regard, though? Like in this general area. I wonder if she, if it's assumed that I'm taking the long way back. Doctor, terminal patient. Oh shit, there is somebody here. Uh, uh, the, the animal. Uh, <laughs> How in the hell? Oh shit. Yes. Well. I was totally effing wrong. God damn. I did not expect that at all. What the hell? Shit, I was way off. <laughs> I would not have expected that. Shit, I didn't think that there was going to be another enemy so soon. After a boss fight? A double boss fight? Because the bridge... Maybe that's what she's referencing. The bridge is now accessible, but we saw that before, so I'm not sure. No, nah, it doesn't matter. There might be some stuff up in the mountains, but I'll worry about that another time. Damn. 
This bridge got fixed quick. Everybody seems fine here. Good to see you. There is stuff out here. Okay, cool. Bailey ran around the corner as the street lamps flickered and went off. It was in front of him, a glitching cloud. A dark, boiling monster. Looking at it felt like what a stroke must feel like. He was sick with fear. He fell. The dark presence ripped into him, swallowed him, filled his lungs and his brains with dark water. Bailey saw a snarling face in the darkness. Then he realized it was his own face. He was snarling. He was standing in the street in the dark and he was snarling. He was snarling, he snarled. The monster was gone. The darkness coiled around him in tatters and wisps. He was the monster now filled with rage. He was the monster now filled with rage, he shouted. And the writing in this is so good. I don't want to use my first aid pack. Or like that huge first, like that med kit, the green one. I don't want to use that. Oh, hey. Is there dialogue here? I don't think everything's okay in Coffee World. Have you noticed? I'm getting this, like, off feeling every night after work. What? Are you having nightmares again? Like when you were a kid? Do you need your security blanket? You need Blanky Blankerson? Ugh. You keep Blanky out of this. here well at least the flooding's gone down yeah but the fish aren't biting any better okay You know, you really shouldn't be out here by yourself this late. You kidding? Watery is the safest, most boring town in the world. I wish that was the case. Another one of those cult boxes. The car one was too easy, here's mine. There are three batteries, which have a combined charge of 1600 amps. B2 has 128, B1 has two times how many amps? Okay, math time. Three batteries, which have a combined charge of 1600. Okay, so just to get an idea, I know it's not gonna be exact. 1600 divided by three is 533.3. B2 has 128 more than B3. B1 has two times as much as B3. Okay, that should be pretty easy. So then if uh, 120 B2 has 120 more B3, B1 is two times as much as B3. Okay, so 1600 minus 128, 1472. Okay, so that alleviates that. So now we have to do 1472 divided by three. Wish I had a pen and paper, but I don't have anything on my desk here. Let me think. B1 is two times as much as B3. I'm thinking 490? I don't think that's right. No, it's not. I'm close though. Or I'm on the right track in terms of what I'm trying to do here, but I gotta think this through a little bit more. B2 has 128 more than B3. 
B1 is two times as much as B3. Okay. I'm trying to like staple this in my mind, but I'm not latching on to it. So B3 would be the smallest number. This is so annoying. That's I hate these freaking math problems where I don't have to write it down. Three batteries. 1,600 each. Okay, let me write this down. My phone here. I need a freaking pen and paper. Hold on. All right. I wrote it out. So here's the math. So basically the math on this, I decided to write it out so I can visualize everything. So 1600 equals B1 plus B2 plus B3 is the math equation. So B1 equals B3 times 2. B2 equals B3 plus 128 plus B3. So that means that essentially you have B1, B2, and B3 need to be Add it together to be 1600. So let's start with the only number that we do have. That's 100, 128. So basically, you do 100 and or you do 1600. Let me do, I'll do this on my phone. 1600 minus 128. That equals 1472. Okay. Then you want to divide that by four because you're dealing with one number, one number, and then a number times two. So you have to have four of them. So divide that by four equals 368. So that means that B1, just so we break this down, 368 times 2. B1 is 736 because that's 368 times 2. B2 would be equal to 368 plus 128 equals 496, leaving B3 to be 368. So this should then be 496 as the answer. If it's not that, I'm going to kick myself in the balls. Bing! I haven't done math in a really long time, but I remember in, in uh, high school, it was my favorite subject. I was actually really, really good at, at algebra. It's hard to kind of like focus on creating a YouTube video where I'm playing a horror video game and then also doing math, but I like to write it out and solve it. I like the puzzles like that. In fact, I got the highest grade in my class. I was competing for number one and I beat out, uh, what was second place? By like 1% to get the highest grade in uh, in the class for the semester. Um, why do I have to take a fucking math test to open a, a stash? What if I need to get in fast? I can't do math in my head. I'm not Ada fucking Loveless. I, I missed dinner getting uh, getting this thing open. It was my, it was family pizza night. Um, I've never really been great at doing math in my head either. I have to, I have to visualize it. I have to write it down. That was my crux, but I liked showing the work. I liked being able to like write it I had this really annoying thing that I used to do where I would like write everything out like chicken scratch, very sloppy, very ugly, just horribly writing all the math equations out. And it like I have uh, an obsessive compulsive disorder that kicks in sometimes and it would irk me to the point where I would lose functionality if the work looked sloppy. So I'd get a fresh sheet of paper and rewrite the work perfectly. Once I once I got all the equations out, I wrote the work out like perfectly neatly and legible just so it was rep represented next to the answer because most of the time when you're doing math you have to have the, the you have to show the work you can't just use a calculator granted i use the calculator here just to do the simple parts but i wrote everything out so i could visualize the equation and figure out what was needed so it wasn't too bad um okay we got some stuff here let's see do we have so what else do we pick up shotgun ammo that's good handgun ammo bolts let's go ahead and move that here and I'm actually going to use that now or I guess I'm not because I'm stupid what the hell? 
it's not letting me use it. Yeah, I can't heal where I'm at. I guess, I guess in town, because you're not able to use your weapons, you're not able to use any of your equipped items. It was a way for them to completely, deliberately remove the idea of using equipables. So even if I'm trying to heal, it doesn't matter. The game doesn't want me to do anything. Yeah, I'd be surprised if there was anything back here that we missed. But there have been some new characters moving around and stuff. Ah, the screwdriver works for that. Dope. What is this? Test sites and watery location arrangements. Ranger cabin, trailer, lighthouse, and okay. Watery woods, too. Hmm. FBI stuff. Maiden doll. We can actually take that to the lighthouse, I think. I think. Was the maiden a lighthouse thing? Or is the lighthouse like a, another man? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, oh, there's three. Let's just read the first one. My dear maiden, I'm out of luck and out of means. I'd love to come back home to you soon, but alas, I must gather my strength and my funds first. Don't forget about me. I'll be with you sooner than you think. Yours truly. Who is that? Experiment PFNR16, codename Maiden Waiting, prop item L2. Dearest, it pains me to hear you'll not be arriving, but I'll keep waiting until you do. I would never forget about you. How could I? Dearest, when are you returning? I've been waiting for so long. I miss you. Send me a letter as soon as you can. It's lonely here, and I pine. Thanks. I'll try to add some complexity and charm. This is a really great use of my master's in applied physics. Michael's junior assistant researcher. So there are no results. The propping has been proven to be effective, according to Dr. Campbell. Maybe it's something in the rhyme itself. Is it too mature, too direct? Should we add complexity and charm to it? Try some different approaches and get back to me. Weird. Just to update you, I haven't had any success with the setting the stage. Even the letters from the characters themselves are no use. Do you have any tips on what I should do next? And this is weird stuff. I don't really understand. Another rhyme. There once was a faithful girl at home. She stayed, and there she prayed for her lover to return. But he collected, he collected fair maidens just as he did. Their stolen riches and broken hearts. I honestly don't really know. It's also dumb because you could just like pop them in and out of each of these. It seems like none of these work though. Faithful girl. Wait, I wonder if you can set more than one? I don't see why you couldn't. Doesn't look right. Keep trying. I didn't think about using more than one. No. Doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. I don't think we have the right one. We're missing a doll. I think there's there's another doll out there that we just haven't grabbed for this. Who needs binoculars right here? It's like 10 feet. <laughs> yeah, we're missing a doll or two.
I didn't think about that before. Damn, more than one doll, of course. Oh well. I don't really care that much about that. The charms are nice, but they're not... Uh, Where's my car? Is that it? Oh, I don't want to go to Cauldron Lake. Damn it. Cauldron Lake. She's the wrong thing again. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's get it right this time. Bright Falls. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'm an idiot. Let's get over it. up your books come up you come up I've read them there are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me oh shit they're not taken though what happened to Alan Wake the unanswered mystery never expected to find you alive It's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <sighs> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in a dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening, what will happen. Dreams, I tried to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now, even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. This. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! FBI! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck! Do I get to play as Casey?
They'd better not have killed Casey, dude. He is bloody. Please tell me that's not Casey's blood. Casey did a number on him, that's for sure. Seems like Casey's alive. So that's good news. I had escaped the dark place. So had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? Dude, there's a lot of bodies here. That's really cool. I mean, I'm sure Sam Lake didn't do this all by himself, but dude, the, the Remedy team knows how to create a compelling story. It sucks that I haven't played Quantum Break and Control yet. To find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. But those games are on my list. I plan on playing those soon to get the full picture. Dude, Casey blew these dudes away. Oh, some of these are probably not even cultist though he looks innocent dude just got the front door you serious you just can't open the door i understand video games have a very specific direction they want you to take as far as the story is concerned but if it were me dude i'd be kicking those windows down and i'd be jumping through the effing window right now there's a little bit of sun out there funny like obviously like this wouldn't stop me if i wanted to go that direction i would just climb over the couch Dude, he got messed up. Dragged their bodies everywhere. How in the... F Dude, look at this. Some here, but I can't... No, it's just the door. I don't have a light, so I can't see anything. I need to protect myself. Get the shotgun, dude. A gun and a flashlight. How nostalgic. What's the, uh... Dude. Yeah, I hear some nasties coming, but... Oh, I have two shots. Dude, I gotta help him. I don't want my man going down. He's basically Max Payne. That's Casey. He was still alive. Yeah, and kicking the shit out of them. Jesus! How do I get more batteries? be taken? Where did the dark presence not discriminate? How is he not dead? Shit, there's another one up there. How do they expect me to, like, 
fight back, you know? The pressure in my head was unbearable. Scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. Shit, there's a lot of them. How am I supposed to... What am I supposed to do here? I need them to go to the left. If this light breaks down, I'm screwed. Because it... Eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey. Casey, I'm coming. Fuck. Casey. If they take Casey, I'm gonna be real sad. Yeah. He's either dead or he's been taken. God damn it. Saga. Shit. FBI, drop the knife. Elmo? Saga, you don't understand. Nesteves, Federal Bureau of Control. I'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. This is my case. They're from... This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. What? This is bullshit. Noted. Ah. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? to mind okay then your work here is done hey you did well wait my partner agent casey's mia we'll look for he's him. my partner damn it agent I be go home careful moving quick they think he's a para-utilitarian no fuck this i was so close to getting the clicker to wake i'm not done here not until i find casey not until my family is safe from this horror story. Damn. Okay, so this is actually really important. This is part of the the bridge. So the FBC, according to the Alan Way, uh, Wiki, the Federal Bureau of Control is a clandestine United States government organization that inves investigates paranormal phenomena which violate the natural laws of physics. The director of the Federal Bureau of Control as of 2019 is Jesse Fadden. The FBC is believed to have been influenced by Alan Wake's writing as part of a larger effort to escape from the dark place. The FPC is central on the events of the Remedy Entertainment video game Control, another game in the Remedy Connected universe. And the Remedy Connected universe, yeah, I wonder. So the Max Payne series is the one that's a little bit interesting. So the Remedy Connected universe is a shared fictional universe created by Remedy within the Remedy Connected universe. And Olympic games belong to a larger fictional universe that share elements of lore, characters, and story. While hints of the Remedy Connected universe have existed for more than a decade, its official existence was con not confirmed until August 7, 2020 and Control's expansion to AWE, as this was a formal crossover in the event in the series uh, connecting the video games Control and Alan Wake. The Remedy Connected Universe is known to include Alan Wake, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, Control, and Alan Wake 2. The official status of Remedy Entertainment's other games, Death Rally, Max Payne, and Quantum Break, is that they do not exist in the same universe. Oh, I thought Quantum Break did. That's unfortunate. But again, they, they could be confirmed later. Um, let's see, a handful in Death Rally. I've never heard of that. A handful of references to one of Remedy's first games, Death Rally, can be found mostly in the Alan Wake games, with various posters, even an arcade machine that can be seen playing the game. However, as far as connectivity goes, Death Rally merely appears to be media that exists as an actual game in the universe, not that it's connected in the overall story. Max Payne is a little different, though. This one bothers me. I feel like it's still connected, but let's see what it says. The status of Max Payne in the Remedy Connected universe is unclear, specifically the first two games. So the third one was made by Rockstar. That wasn't... Um, uh, remedy did that one uh, max Payne and max Payne 2, the fall of max Payne, both of which 
our playthroughs that I have up on my channel. So you can take a look in the all walkthroughs playthrough section and uh, see me playing through both those games. Um, Remedy made before the franchise was acquired by Rockstar Games, which is why they got three. Max Payne references are made in Alan Wake. In one of his dialogues with Jesse Fadden, her brother Dylan Fadden implies that Max Payne exists in a separate parallel universe from Alan Wake and Control, a world possibly influenced by the writings of Alan Wake. Interesting. In an interview with Sam Lake in 2023, he confirmed that Max Payne was not officially part of the Remedy Connected universe. That's bullshit, Alan. Or, um, uh, Sam, bullshit. Quantum Break was another game released under Microsoft instead of an Alan Wake sequel. However, the game came with various references to Alan Wake, including one mentioning Night Springs, a television show seen across all games. One notable reference was a whiteboard, which contains a ton of unanswered questions surrounding his disappearance. It also, uh, it is also the first time the acronym AWB Alter World Event is mentioned, which is a later, later noted in the next game in the series. In an interview with Sam Lake 23, he confirmed that Quantum Break was not officially part of the Remedy Connected universe. Well, I mean, they are though. Like that's the thing. Is he saying they're not? But they are. Like, they're connected because they make references to each other. And I think, I can't remember if it was Control, Alan Wake, I'm not sure. But it, one of those games, there's a pharmaceutical company reference in it that is the big bad in Max Payne. I read about that. I didn't actually see it. So I think they are connected. But it's kind of like saying that, like, the Sony universe isn't connected to the Marvel universe. universe but, like, we've seen that. I mean, you saw... Um, across the Spider-Verse, right? And how they had live action characters in that too. It's the same thing. It doesn't matter what the medium is, whether it's comic form, video game form, animated form, live action form, whatever. It doesn't matter. Like those universes are all connected, which means literally the Avengers are like connected to the Spider-Verse animated. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's the same thing here. If Alan was to write that they were like related or whatever, then they are. Or if Alan was to write a Max Payne series or have like a short story, maybe something like that, they're connected but anyway we're getting off on a tangent still i'm just i, I still think there's a, a bigger connected story here than what sam lake is saying but nonetheless thank you for watching this episode of alan wake 2 we'll continue right where we left off here in the next one if you did enjoy this episode though you can show your love by hitting the like button do not forget to subscribe any feedback for me leave in the comment section i'll get back to you as soon as possible also don't forget to take a look at the description box there's some links that might be of interest to you one of which is a link to the mark and nine community discord server if you want to be part of that group you can chat with me directly otherwise just know i appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Alright guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. See you next time.